We love a new adventure, and this ambulance is our latest project. We've spent the past few weeks taking the medical gear out, replacing the floors, planning, ordering materials, and ultimately building this retired emergency vehicle into our very own DIY camper. This week, we're exhausted, so we're learning to find a healthy balance between downtime and getting this thing done. This is a very interesting look. Okay, so if we're being completely honest here, which we always are, we're really tired. I'm exhausted. We had a really big weekend, just like in our personal lives, and um, we're really feeling it now. So Nick's been out working on the ambulance. I've been doing some footage dumping from my computer to my hard drive and all that kind of stuff this morning. Um, yes, very, 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 very tired. Um, but we do have some stuff at the post office today and some plans for the van. So we're getting right back into it and we'll just be making sure that we're drinking our water. Finished off the step here. My flooring cuts were definitely not perfect, but nothing a little bit of silicone won't help. Um, so, we've got a silicone all around the outer edges, all along here, um, and then I've got a cover that's gonna kind of finish this off, make it look pretty nice. Same thing with up here, we've got a cover to cover up all this silicone and make it look a little bit more pretty. The game plan for today, now that the flooring's done, are you dropping things up back over there? Just some measuring tape. So we're gonna build a wood box around this area here and down here as well. And then insulate them because over here, this is gonna be our kitchen and that just needs to be insulated so that it's not freezing cold in here during the winter. So it's another day that we are going to go into town. Oh, their event, our event looks so good. It's another day that we're going to be going into town um, to get wood and stuff like that, but we also have another order from Amazon, so we'll go get that today, too. Kind of waking up here. Kind of. Oh. Where, where, where was it dropped off? That kind of day, folks. We just ate lunch. We got back from the hardware store. It took a while to find our FedEx package because they delivered it to Canada Post and it was like a huge thing. And it took us a while and then we got back, ate lunch. And then just over lunch, we were having a conversation. We're just way too burnt out from our fun, but a little overwhelming weekend. Um, so what are we gonna do instead? Go jump in some water. We're gonna go jump in some water. It's yeah. it's way too hot here and we would be completely fooling ourselves. Um, and you guys, if we if we worked on the van today, it's impossible. Well, it's also the, the stuff that I have to do, that box that I have to build. Hmm. <clears throat> if I start it now, first of all, I don't have all the materials that I need. I, I forgot to grab insulation. Um, and besides that, uh, it's a lot of a lot of planning that I need to do and it's gonna take me probably well into uh, the night if I start it now so I figure it's probably best to get a start on it tomorrow because I really want to make sure that I plan this correctly and make sure that it's done right so yeah. yeah normally I'd leave this day out of the of the vlog and just start it tomorrow but I think it's um, only fair to show that we're human and that we can't work on things every day sometimes. It's just not your day. And tomorrow might be better, I hope. Let's hope for a better tomorrow. Okay, let's try this again. Hello world, we're in much better moods now. Not me, I'm choked. Well, not Nick, I guess. Okay, so this is the plan for today. Boxing and 
unboxing. It's like Christmas in here, so nice. Okay, so Nick is going to build a box around this thing. I think we explained this the other day, but I mean. I kind of shittily tried to. I don't even think that we were people the other day, so we'll try again. So a box is going around here, a box is going around there. Gonna insulate those and then, yeah, put wood up. Speaking of boxes, we have boxes from everywhere, yay. So we're gonna show you guys what we got. Some of these things I've already, as you can see, it's already open, but some of them I haven't seen yet. So let's do this. Okay, the first box, which we got the other day. So this is gonna be our shower. So this is our shower bag. And then um, there's a handle in it. So I don't, I'm not sure if you guys put two and two together, but we're not building a bathroom in here. We're gonna have the shower. We're gonna shower out there. That's a handle. Huh? The handle? The handle's in here. What does the, the handle do? Turn it on, on? No, so you put the handle. So you heat the, up this bag. You fill it with water. Yeah, yeah. You heat up the bag by putting it in the sun. And then, this is like the spout. Oh, yeah, okay. So you put it on, and then you can turn it, and then it will have water pressure. Yeah, and we just hang it off. Off. Yeah, you can just hang it off a tree or you can hang it off the top of the ambulance and it's fine. Now, we also got lights. The lights that were in here were very big and a little too bright for us. So we got these little lights, which we're gonna have to put in soon. So just the, the little ones that you can put at the top. So that's exciting. Woohoo! Yeah, the lights that come with the ambulance are like massive, like this big. Very, 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 very obnoxious and bright. So we don't like them. Sorry. We get so many comments that are like, why are you guys taking everything out? Because we want to. Okay. Now. We also got, I haven't opened this yet. So we can start plumbing adventures. We got two of these. But you think that I need a third one. Uh, I mean. I guess, it, no, those are pretty big. Okay. If we have room for a third, I think we should get a third. Okay. Then, we thought that we weren't going to have any luck getting one of these, but then we found a marine store that came in clutch. A foot pump! So, um, yeah, that's what's going to be happening. We're not going to have an electric pump in here. No electric pump and no hand pump. We're foot pumping it. So, we got this idea from another YouTuber, and they had an Amazon link, but then that was sold out. And then this is like from a marine store in Kingston, Ontario. So we got it shipped and they were actually really fast. We had it in stock, got our foot pump. Woo! Okay. Nice. This is the one I'm kind of nervous to open. Okay, this is our cooktop. Let's put this down so that I don't have to lift it up. Oh. So, this is our induction cooktop that we got. We got the same one um, as Eamon and Beck. And just in case, if you guys are wondering, we always use other people's codes and affiliate links because we like to support people like that. But um, we also thought that this was looked pretty funky. So, um, hopefully it's all good. I mean, it looks like it's in fine condition. Just checking for cracks and stuff. And um, yeah, we should test it out obviously before we install it. So that is going to be our cooktop. Induction cooktop. Check stuff I haven't seen yet. Okay, so I'm crazy. Nick was like making fun of me because I'm like jumping the gun so fast. I'm already buying decorations. We got our bed sheets, royal blue. And then I got these like tile sticker things. I don't know where I'm gonna put them. Originally I thought the kitchen, but then I couldn't find actual tiles. And then they were just tile stickers. And then I'm like, I don't know. But we're gonna incorporate them somehow. I got a throw, I got a throw blanket. <laughs> I'm already decorated. I know, we haven't even finished the walls or the ceiling yet. So cute. And our rug. Okay, this one we actually need to see if this is. So. Oh, I already like it. The muscles. I really hope that this fits. Oh, it's perfect. Ta da! <laughs> 
Conversion's done, folks. That's it. <laughs> so that's it for our unboxing. And now I guess it's time for boxing. I've got this little vent here uh, that sat in the electro box to vent um, something. I'm not entirely sure what. Uh, but anyways, it's going to create a really awful draft if I leave it like this. So the chunk of the roof that I cut out for the vent, um, I just repurposed. So I'm the same size as this thing. Uh, I'll drill the holes and then cover that hole with the piece of the roof and we won't get a draft anymore. Permission to sing happy birthday to um, my best friend Viva because it's her birthday today. Yay! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to Viva! Happy birthday to you! Still have to seal the bottom of the ship, but and then do the top and insulate the back, but that's the hard part. Beautiful. We were really, really tired at the beginning of the week and finally got some stuff done today. So that box is done. Just about, I just got a lid to put on it, but yeah, I'll put a lid on it once. Um, once we have the electrical all figured out. Yeah. Finish insulating it and then, yeah. So basically the next steps are gonna be electrical, which is what we've been dreading but you've been kind of cracking at it like every day, trying to figure it out. Yeah. And um, so that's gonna be interesting, because <sighs> next week is gonna be interesting, trying to figure that all out, and get solar panels, and do all that, because once we figure out the electrical, then we can put up the walls and the ceiling, and then this place is really gonna start to look like home. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for watching our video, and um, our struggles, and all of that. Um, like I said, it's been a hell of a week, but we're still super pumped that we're going to be working on this thing for the foreseeable future. Okay.